Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? I just wanted to do another little little video, show you the next project. Now, some of you guys might already know, might have already seen it from you know my posts on Facebook and stuff like that. But for those of you that don't follow me on Facebook, you guys haven't seen it. So, I bought something the other day that I'm going to use to do a swap on my blazer. Because uh, I'm getting rid of the 2.8 and the automatic transmission out of the blazer. So I bought something the other day that I'm going to show you guys now. So let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so here's what I bought. I still don't know what year it is. I haven't figured that out yet. But it is an S10 truck. It has been wrecked in the rear. And yes, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Give me a second, I'll show you. But the reason why I bought it was for the the engine transmission and transfer case. And yes, I have checked all that stuff out, and it is good. The uh, transfer case, transmission, and all that wasn't touched. But it does have a 4.3 TBI in it. And then here's another reason why I bought it. It's because it's 5 speed. It's a 435 speed. 4x4. Four four. So the Blazer will be getting a 435 speed put in it. Alright, now here's. I mean, you can see right, right here. Right here is where the tail light would be in this bed. So you can see how how it's been bent up. It's been bent in half pretty much. Yeah, that bed's totally totally done. I mean, you can see where the bumper's at right here. It broke the uh, leaf spring. But I don't think the rear end has been touched. Like I, I looked at it, I looked the rear end over and I don't really see anywhere where it might have been damaged or bent or anything like that. I mean it just I just see where it broke the uh, leaf springs. So I'm thinking that whenever he hit the bumper and all that and it broke the leaf springs that it pushed the bed up and just might have pushed the rear end out of its way pretty much whenever he was unloading it from the rollback I did notice that the fuel tank was leaking I don't know if it's because of a broken line or if the fuel tank is actually ruptured I don't know like I, I don't see any spots where it where the tank is ruptured at but it very well could be somewhere or it could just be a broken line but I'm <clears throat> I'm kinda hoping this rear end is good because it's actually a G80 rear end so that means it's a posi rear end and uh, these wheels they're <clears throat> mud mud tires, which they're just cheap mud tires, because I've already looked them up. This tire here is actually busted. The wheel and tire, both are busted. But the other three tires are still kind of good. I mean, they, they still got eh, decent tread on them. But if I could find another one of these tires... They are uh, Mud Claw <clears throat> Extreme MT tires, 235-75-R15. If I can find another one of those tires, then I would love to put these tires on my Blazer because those tires that are on my Blazer, I believe, have flat spots on them. But yeah, there's, there's the wrecked part of it. And that tail light did did make it. I mean, 
Yeah, yeah, it's still, it's still bolted in there. So hey, I, I did, you know, it does still have a tail light. You come around here. There's the exhaust. You can see how, how bent up it is. It's actually, the exhaust is actually bent in half. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not. Uh, probably not. But yeah, I can, I can see it. The exhaust is actually bent in half. that out rip that whole eyelid out now the drive shaft I did check the drive shaft out like on the uh, like the part that goes into the transfer case now, hold on now you, you can see like these tires they don't have much tread on them but I would still throw them on my blazer just for a few just so I'm not bouncing up and down from shaking to death, pretty much. I mean, as far as I know, from what I've seen, these tires are only worth, or only sell for like a hundred bucks, so. Okay, on to the drive shaft, guys. Uh, the drive shaft did break right here, as you can see. So, I'm thinking that this might be what, what saved the transfer case with you know was this breaking because like I said I I checked the transfer case I checked everything pretty much I even checked this to see if there was any kind of scars on it or anything and I don't see nothing I don't see any spot where it would have jammed up against something else or anything like that I mean, I don't see nothing, nothing at all wrong with it, other than it being broke down there. So I'm thinking that that might have been what saved the transfer case and all that. Uh, now the the tow truck driver did say that whenever he got there on scene, because he was the one that actually picked this truck up from the scene of the wreck, uh, he said he was the one that removed the drive shaft and he said that nothing was leaking from the transmission or transfer case whenever he picked it up so I mean so but like I said I've already checked the transfer case and all that stuff out and everything did look good but I'm going to try to get this thing jacked up or something I don't know I want to try to get it up in the air high enough to where I can get my fat ass up underneath of it and check it out I actually might go ahead and start stripping this cab and maybe get the front end off of it and maybe start trying to take that cab off of it because I'm going to take the cab and all that stuff off of it that way I can get to the motor transmission transfer case easier oh. now here's the interior anyways guys that right there that right there is the main 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 reason why I bought this I wanted the five speed I have been looking for two years for a five speed and then I finally found one I'm just hoping and praying that everything works out Hoping and praying, guys. Hoping and praying that everything works out because I don't want to run into too many hiccups, pretty much. I mean, I've already been trying to figure out what drive shaft is going to work. I believe the 4x4, 43 drive shaft is going to work, which I've got laying over here. <clears throat> I did 
this drive shaft right here that's the blazer drive shaft and then that is the blazer uh, front drive shaft which I will change the the u-joints I will change those which I've already looked at I was looking at those last night uh, and I will clean it up paint it up and all that make them look good but I believe this is this drive shaft and that drive shaft are going to be the ones that will work in my blazer uh, because the truck drive shaft I don't know about the front drive shaft but I know about the rear the rear drive shaft in the truck is longer than what the blazer drive shaft is so I'm thinking that whenever I put the 4.3 and the transmission and the transfer case over into my blazer I'm thinking that this drive shaft here is going to be the one that I'll have to use <sighs> just because it came from the white two-door two-door blazer but yeah guys that's pretty much it I can't wait I'm so excited to get get started on this thing I really am I want I uh, I can't wait till it's done. The uh, radiator uh, plastic piece, I guess it broke somehow. No, the motor wasn't pushed forward. I've already looked at the motor mounts and all that stuff too. The motor wasn't pushed forward. The plastic piece broke, I guess from uh, it just being old and... I don't know. It, I mean, it, it broke, but the radiator or the fan hit the radiator. So I'll have to either buy another five-speed radiator, or I've got a radiator laying over there from the uh, from the '93 automatic, which I think that one will work. I think an automatic transmission or an automatic radiator will work in a five speed but a five speed won't work in an automatic I, I believe that's right because where the oil or the transmission lines hook up to it or some crap uh, I am going to try to throw a battery in this here soon the uh, fire department cut the battery line or battery wires they cut that one there and then that one there and also that one but uh i've got a couple battery battery cables over there that i'm going to try to throw in it that way i can throw a battery in it and start this thing up because i want to i want to start it up and uh, try to go through the gears and stuff like that make sure everything is 100 percent good before i start pulling this thing now once i get the motor out I am planning on doing, you know, valve cover gaskets. Uh, I might pull the intake and do intake gaskets, stuff like that, because this motor is kind of oily. I mean, it, it looks like it's leaking oil from every orifice it's got. It's got a brand new starter on it. You can see the starter right there. It's got a brand new starter. It's also got a brand new clutch. It, the guy told me that uh, that they had just put a brand new clutch in it like two weeks before it was wrecked. So it's got a brand new clutch and all that stuff in it, clutch kit. All that's brand new. So, yeah guys. Can't wait. Now we just got to get my truck together. That way we can start working on this thing. But, on my truck, I'm just waiting on parts. I'm waiting on the pilot bearing. The pilot bearing says it's supposed to be here Saturday. And it's supposed to rain Saturday. But, I've got the, I've got the canopy up over there. So, rain or shine, I am putting that damn pilot bearing in there. So, Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. 
<sighs> I can't wait to get started on this thing. I really can't. Can't wait to get my blazer done, get my truck done, all that. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.